picking the top to go with this tutu. The top um, that's going to go to that tutu is this one right here and it's 6 to 12 months. So we're going to be adding um, some of the Grinch words on it and this image was something that I put together myself um, using the font from I forgot what where I downloaded the font from the font I think and then I went to Etsy and I purchased this um, and this was a request from another uh, tutu that I made last year for someone they requested the pearls be put on the on the tutu um, top so I went on Etsy and I bought the pearls. So what I did was with that same um, SVG file that I bought off of Etsy, I added it to the Grinch shirt that I that I made. I just added the pearls to it and the and a little bow on the top, just you know to make it different than all the other ones that are being sold. So just always try to. Um, tweak your design to kind of personalize it and make it your own um, even though the same same or similar designs or you know wording or quotes put on a t-shirt or onesie always try to tweak it to make it your own because it'll make you stand out from everybody else that is making stuff and in the beginning I bought tons of SC files still by um, SC files and I tried to take um, you know my own designs and use those designs incorporated it to incorporate it into in an original design that I've made so that's just a tip and yeah all right so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I measure my shirts and then I, I have to learn how to I gotta this weekend learn how to do the screen record so I can show you guys actually what it is that I'm doing. Um, but right now I'm gonna show you how I measure my onesie top. All right, so this is my onesie, which I um, already told you six to 12 months and long sleeve. So the way that I measure my tops is I always start from the tippity top here and I measure down maybe about, depending on the wording, on how big the wording is, I might bring it down to maybe two inches from the neckline. So that would just be my wording. I'm not counting, you know, any the pearls up here. So I normally do maybe about from, so from about there, to five inches so most of the time my designs will be five inches because I always think if the baby has a skirt or a pair of pants even though kids pants and skirts tend to droop a little bit but you always want to make sure that you have it enough where you're not cutting anything off okay nor do you want it too close to up here unless it's a bow tie or pearls or something like that that's different but the design or the wording itself I always try to keep it about five inches long sometimes six like I said because it depends on the wording and the design um, for this one I am going to do it five inches because we also going to be adding the pearls to the top of the of the shirt here okay so I'm going to go over to my Cricut design space and I am going to measure out just the white word uh, just the wording so and I just lost my measurement uh, so once you picked out your final then it's time to cut.
we're about to press our shirt. When I press my shirt, I'm just trying to make sure you can see because of the sun. When I press my shirt, I always um, press them flat first. Then I fold them so I can get a crease just so I know what to, um, where to center. So I lay my shirts down like so. I don't know why that's there. Then I cover it. And then I press. All right, guys, so now you're gonna take your onesie, okay? And you're going to fold it directly in half. And you wanna make sure that your onesie is folded directly in half because that line is gonna determine um, where your vinyl is going to lay so that it's centered with the onesie, okay? Or body, so whatever you wanna call it. So I always make sure is centered and that is laying exactly in half and even on the seams here because you don't want your vinyl to be um, thrown off see. by that but you see this line here that's where you're going to center your vinyl let me zoom in and this line that runs all the way down, you know that this is the middle of your shirt. So you know exactly where your wording is going to be centered. All right, guys, so here's my top. I already pressed it. These are the, um, the pearls that I have spoken to you guys about. I am going to just, I line them up as close as I can to the top stitching of the onesie okay like so so now I'm going to take it over and I'm going to press it Okay, and now I am going to add my bow. I have these little scissors, exactly like this, but they're the little ones that you use to um, to cut like any, you know, uh, small places. I use it for my tutus. And I have actually like four of them and they're all missing and I needed them today because those little ones are perfect just to cut out, you know, a little better than this. I don't want to rip the vinyl, so. All right. So now I'm gonna also put my... You know what, I might have to bring the camera because the light is so, what do you call that? Blue so shadows. It's bright and it looks dark. Let me see. Maybe you guys can see like this. I don't know. Place it on this side. I might have to bring up the shirt because I know you guys are seeing a glare. But this is the top. I'll videotape it on the table or something, maybe on the other side. So it's already done. You saw how I show you guys how to crease the middle so that you can center your words. And the pearls were easy. And you saw how I told you that um, you can make a design or buy a font and just, you know, tweak it to be your own and just buy other um, SVG files and just tweak it, make it your own, make it personal, you know, don't copy because you won't stand out, you want to stand out, so you want to come up with your own designs.